Hey, it's Matt from Steel Arch One UK. Today we're going to show you what's required for the first fix on a WPL25 ACS air source heat pump. So our electrical connections and hydraulic connections are at the back of the WPL25 ACS. To access our electrical connections, you need to slide the rear panel up and we can see our controls, compressor, and onboard booster supplies and our communication terminal which runs back to the WPM4. You can remove the torque screw and your electrical panel opens up to make it easier to access. Below our electrical connections, we have our hydraulic connections. These are 28mm connections. We have our flow and our return. You will need 100mm pipe spacing between the flow and return. So electrical connections, we have our controls, our compressor and our onboard booster heaters. We will need to bring a 16 amp supply to our controls, a 32 amp supply to our compressor and either 116 or 216 amp supplies to our onboard boosters depending on how many kilowatts you are using. You also need a CAT5 or CAT6 screened data cable. This is our communication cable which runs from the outdoor unit to our WPM controller. In this section, we will look at the electrical diagram for the WPL25 ACS. You will need the following supplies. So, firstly, we'll start with X3, which is our compressor supply. This is a 32 amp supply and you will need a rotary isolator. We also need either one or two 16 amp supplies to our onboard boosters. There is a three and a 3.2 kilowatt electric immersion or booster. If you are using three kilowatts, it will be one 16 amp supply. If you are using both 3 and 3.2 kilowatt onboard boosters, you will need two separate 16 amp supplies with rotary isolators. Your third supply will be your control supply. This is a 16 amp supply that will power both the outdoor controls and the indoor WPM. You will need to use rotary isolators or both circuits to be able to switch these off and isolate them independently. Finally, we have our communications, which is a CAT5 or 6 screened cable. And this will connect to X2 and wire back to our WPM controller inside the property. Now we will have a look at the minimum clearances required for the WPL25 ACS. For the WPL25 ACS, you will need a minimum clearance of 500 millimeters behind the air source heat pump, a thousand or a meter clearance on the left hand side. 500 millimeters on the right hand side and you'll also need a two meter clearance in front of the air source heat pump. To remove the top cover we also recommend leaving 800 millimeters above the WPL25 ACS. For any additional questions or queries about first fix, second fix or any queries about the products, please contact our technical team 
either on 0151 346 2300 or email technical at stevel-eltron.co.uk. We hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching.